to introduce to you the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Professor Leo. He is no less a person, but our CC Mohammed Chenewi Kone. Today's moment is here to update all of us, international and local partners, and Sierra Unions home and abroad about the update of the situations of the elections so far. Without, Without much ado, I pray silence for our electoral commission, chief electoral commission, chief one American and we call it. Chair, the podium is yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first, first, let me apologize for starting this press update. This is late. All of us can understand, as I always say, the best plan normally will not survive after the first shot. However, we are happy that we started the elections, the polls started today. So I'm here to give an update, and we have questions you might answer, answer, but we don't, don't have enough time. time. So, so we're, we're not going to uh, waste a lot, lot of time, time here. here. Um, the Electoral Commission, Commission, the Electoral Electoral Commission for Sierra Leone, in the exercise of its powers vested, vested in it by Section 33 of, of the, the Constitution, Constitution of Sierra Leone, today, 24 June, is conducting, conducting the following, following elections. elections. Presidential, parliamentary, mayor elections, chairperson elections, councillors elections. Polling in most of the polling stations nationwide open at 7 a.m. Polling is ongoing in a relatively peaceful manner. There were logistical challenges in some polling, sta polling centres to the late, late arrival, arrival of materials, especially in some parts, parts of, of the western area of Oban, Oban and, and rural, rural as well, well which, which resulted in late opening of polls at some, some of these police stations. stations. The, the public is hereby informed that, that the procedure requires that, that at, at the close of polls at 5 p.m., all voters in queue will be allowed to vote. Political party agents are present in all polling stations. The presence of Sierra Leone police and other security personnel, National Election Watch, and other observers are visible in all polling stations across, across the country. Voting in these elections is scheduled to end at 5 p.m. today, 24 June 2023. Counting will take place immediately after the polls. However, as I mentioned, all those in queue who are there to vote to cast their ballot, they are allowed to cast their ballot, even if it is after 5 p.m. They will continue the polls, they will continue the voting until everybody in the queue at 5 o'clock. For those, those who will be going after, after 5 o'clock, we will not, not permit them to, 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 to cast, cast votes. But if, if you are in the queue, you, you are, are permitted to vote. vote. So let, let me say this in Creole for, for the Sierra Leoneans. Uh, uh, the, the commission, commission don't say elections for end at, at 5, 5 o'clock. However, However you didn't have the queue. As, as long, long as you didn't have the queue before 5, 5 o'clock, you go you cast the votes for who you want to vote for. So please... We, we apologize for the little bit of for the little, little uh, inconveniences. However, we will be able to address all the issues and all polling stations are currently open to, for people to cast their votes. Notwithstanding this um, successful opening of polls and the ongoing uh, 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 balloting or voting, voting, there are there some is, uh, incidents, uh, incidents that, that we need, need to bring, bring to the public. public. One, polling center 16140, Amalia School Mountain Court, Western Urban, staff attacked 
and voter, voter registrar 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 destroyed. destroyed. In, in other words, in this center, center our, our staff uh, who were there supervising pretending the elections were attacked, attacked and, and the, the voter, voter register was destroyed. destroyed. However, However, we reprinted the voter register and the voting is, is going on right now. Another center, 16142 Hezbollah Islamic, Secondary, Islamic Primary School Mountain Court. Living space. Secondary, Secondary, Islamic Primary School Mountain Court. They also attacked our staff and register destroy. That also, we reprinted the register and the food pulling is going on. Another one is at 16141 Firestone Mountain Court staff attack and material destroy. We also reprinted the materials, the uh, voter register and uh, voting is going on. At Josiah Street, Wellington, rented vehicle number AHY, 900 delivering ballots to centers, was attacked, material destroyed, and the driver beating mercilessly. He is currently in the hospital. At 16148, our streets, our staff were placed under siege for more than four hours. As we speak in this center, some of the station, the staff had to run away, and uh, we are able to get the police to go there, and the pulling is, uh, is ongoing at that center. There are so many instances or incidents that we, have re we are currently receiving reports from our staff across the country, and uh, we subsequently come up with the detailed uh, status reports on the pulling and incidents that required either for the attention of the police and other stakeholders or state authorities. Thank you. This is um, the brief update as at today at this time. So let me again emphasize, if you are in the queue, you will have the right to vote. If you are registered, your name is on the register, you can be, you can be allowed to vote. Uh, coming here, I received a stress call from one of my staff in Poloko that there is a concern of security. Some people whose name are not on the register, they are threatening that they must vote and we've alerted the police on that. We hope they will take the appropriate attention and care. Any questions? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We have a copy of the press uh, statement, which you can, we can distribute copies to them. Sorry. Hello. My name is Alfred Peter Conte. I write for the New Vision newspaper. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, there are several allegations that have been raised by the um, APC Secretary General, that's Nadumbi, I mean, um, of bylaw stuff in per se. Then secondly, um, according to a, a wrote a letter to a, a letter of complaint stating that um, there have been persistent attack of their members, party members. And also, those people, we are not allowed to enter into certain pools. And according to him, he stated clearly that um, if they, uh, they will not accept any result that is coming from any center where they do not have any um, observer. So what are you going to do about that? Um, also, there are concerns of people um, whose names are not in the ECSL register, but their names is on um, both APC and SLPP register, but their information is not on ECSL register. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I am Amadou Lamwanaba. I report for AYV Television. The National Elections Watch knew um, in their statement earlier today um, is calling on ECSL to respond to unresolved issues of voters with IDs whose names were not on the register. And the 
there are reports of some people going to voting centers, they have IDs, but they say they couldn't vote at those places. Uh, can you comment on that, sir? Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Magdalene Ubazoa. Uh, just also an observation: some uh, some of the voters have their vo have their um, ID cards, uh, passports, but their faces, from what the reports they gave, their faces is different from what is on the ECL uh, register. So, how do we handle that case? Okay, um, the issue of ballot stuffing, uh, stuffing, I'm just hearing that from you. I have not received the complaint from All People's Congress, and that is also not to our attention that there has, there has been a ballot stuffing. Um, the other issue relating to security matters, that will be handled by the police or other security personnel. Security matters, that will be handled by the police or other security personnel. But what we have done as the electoral management body is to make the environment friendly. That's why you go to some of the stations, you don't even see the presence of police or security. So we encourage them to send their agents, and if they were refused to get to the stations, they should have called the police and addressed the issue to them. Um, on the issue of the ID card, uh, not the ID card, they are with the ID card, but not on the register. The rest are sure the ID card that will be submitted to people, their names on this register. There were situations report to us where some of the people complained, and when they send the ID card, we are able to trace their details on the register, and we directed our staff to look to specific pages of the ID card. I think some of the problem is tracking where the names are. Even myself, when I went to register, my name was somewhere else other than where it's supposed to be. So that's the problem. So it's a matter of patience and the, our staff to go through, to take their time to go through the register. Um, the face is different from what we have on the ID card, different from the register, you say, or their face is different from the, what is on the ID card. It's not on, on your register. Okay. And then the person is told to hold on or wait aside. Yeah. Yeah, I remember in series of meetings or press briefing, we are reported that there are still some people whose faces were not captured on the, on the register. That's why we refuse to give in out the voter register of personal details. So once you get there, you provide whatever card certificate we gave you, you'll be able to vote because they have your details on the voter register. So being without your face uh, on the ID register, you will still al be allowed to vote. I am Abin Tunde Joe Smith. I work for the International Republican Institute. I have done so far, even though we notice you started very late in most of the centers. Um, taking from that, we are concerned about going into the night, the dark, because you've said those who are on the, the queue will be allowed to vote. What's the plan for the light system, giving EDSA is nothing to add home about at the moment? How do we manage those centers when it is going into the dark, security-wise? And also, how do we ensure that uh, people get to see where they vote? Thank you. Anthony Vandy is the name I work for, Epic Radio and Slick Television. You've admitted already that um, some police stations were a bit late to open. Is there any specific reason as to why these polling stations we are a little bit late to open? Secondly, you made mention that uh, people attack ECSL staff. ECSL staff we are placed under siege and as well vehicles we are damaged. Will you mind to tell us the name of the people, the identity of who these people are? I think 
That's it, right? Okay. We, we have given our polling staff um, solar light. Uh, all the polling stations, they have lamps as well. Solar lamps with uh, battery charge and uh, spear batteries as well. And we've alerted the police about the situation. As we speak, they are now moving around to check where there are still long queue for voting. So they have paid attention to those areas. But we provided solar lamp to our, to our staff. Um, reasons for the late opening I mentioned in the press statement that because of logistical and transportation of material. So that's the reasons for late opening of some of the, the centers. Um, the other issue about the names, uh, police are investigating the issue, these issues. So are we, I'm afraid of giving, disclosing their names, but they are staff of the ECSL, temporary staff of the ECSL. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go back. I'm sorry again once more for keeping you waiting. We will update you as and when uh, required. Hopefully tomorrow we have another press briefing at about afternoon. Thank you.